Good morning, students. Welcome to our online lesson for today. In this lesson, we will draw an angle bisector using compasses and straight edge. Our vocabulary is composed of two words, angle and bisector. As we all know, angle is a measure of space between two intersecting lines and surfaces. The word bisect means to cut in half. So the angle bisector is a line that cuts a given angle into two equal parts. Let's draw the angle bisector of angle ABC using a straight edge or a ruler and a compass. Place the compass point or the needle on vertex B. Then open the compasses to a radius that is about half the length of the sides. Then draw an arc that crosses both BA and BC. Now move the compass point to where the arc crosses BC. You may adjust the opening of the compass or you may use the same radius, it's okay. Now you draw an arc in the middle of the angle. Keeping the radius the same this time, move the compass point to where the arc crosses BA and draw another arc in the middle of the angle intersecting the first arc. Then use your ruler to draw the line joining vertex B to the point where the two arcs cross. This is the angle bisector. And these two angles here that are formed are equal. So this is how we construct an angle bisector of a given angle. Do this exercise on an A4 sheet of paper. Read carefully. There's a lot of information that's given here. But you will see that it is very straightforward. Pause this video and come back when you are done working on it to check your work. So, how did it go? What does the question want? Yes, it just needs you to draw a scale copy of the diagram. Let's take a look at this and how it should be done. We use a scale of 1 cm to 1 meter. In this exercise, you can start with the circle first, then the lines. Or draw the lines first, and then the circle last. Well, I find it easier to construct the lines first. So we will use the ruler, the protractor, and the compass. The lines are 15 meters, so that is 15 centimeters in our drawing. We can measure that with our ruler, then use the protractor to measure 35 degrees. Center should be the end point. Use outer scale. Mark 35 degrees. Then we use our ruler to draw another 15 centimeters the other side. And then we can check with our protractor if that is really 35 degrees. And yes, it is. Now open the protractor to a radius of 1.5 meter. That is 1.5 centimeter in our drawing. Then place the compass needle on the vertex. Then carefully draw the circle. Now draw the angle bisector. With the compass point still on the vertex, open the compass to a radius that is half, almost about half of the lines. Then draw the arc that crosses both lines. Now move the compass. Draw an arc in the middle of the angle. Move the compass point to the other intersection. Draw an arc intersecting the first arc. Then use the ruler to connect the vertex and the intersection of the arcs. That's our angle bisector. And this is the landing area. And it has 35 degrees. And this area is now divided into two equal parts because of the angle bisector. Let's take a look at the next example. What do you think will happen? On an A4 sheet of paper, draw the diagram accurately. Follow the steps. In here, you'll discover how a perpendicular bisector of one angle of a triangle will cut the side opposite to the angle bisected. There is something interesting about it. Pause this video and come back when you're done to check your work. And what did you find out? So let's see if we get the same result. So here is my triangle ABC. I chose to bisect angle A. So place the compass on vertex A, then draw an arc intersecting AC and AB. 
Move the compass needle. Draw an arc in the middle of the angle. Keep the compass radius. Draw an arc intersecting the first arc. Then use the ruler. Connect the vertex to the intersection of the arc. That's the angle bisector. Extend it so that it cuts BC. Now mark the point of intersection P. Measure the side. So AC is 15 centimeters. Let's see AB, that's 12 centimeters. Now let's see BP, that's 4 centimeters. And PC is 5 centimeters. Now watch carefully. We'll get AB, the ratio of AB to BP, which is 12 over 4, that's 3. How about AC to CP, 15 over 5, that is also 3. So what does this tell us? that the ratio of the segments and the other two sides are equal. Do you think this is true for any triangle or for any angle that we bisect? Huh? Actually, yes. This is known as the angle bisector theorem, which states that any angle bisector of a triangle will divide the opposite sides into two segments that are proportional to other two sides of the triangle. 